Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. So I did this look on a client a few weeks ago and it has been highly requested that I do a video on how to do the ombre. It's really quick and easy and simple but it's so so effective. So if you want to find out how I created this then just stay tuned. So for this look you're going to need a white gel polish. I'm using Gelish gel polish in Arctic Freeze which is a real bright white and I've also got gelish top it off for afterwards. Then the pigments that I'm going to be using today are obviously from Magpie Beauty so and these are the neon pigments so I've got Zoe and Joy and to apply those I've got the Magpie Detailer Brush and the Magpie Duster Brush to brush off any excess. Okay, so I've painted my nails with um, the white gel polish, done two coats and cured between each layer. So now we're going to get on and put the pigments on top. So I'm going to start off with the neon pink called Joy. So, and I'm going to pick some of the pigment up with my brush and pat it into the lid just to break it up slightly. So then with it all on my brush I'm literally just going to pat it into the cuticle area and I'm just going to start dragging it down the nail. Like that. Then I'm just gonna dry brush my um, brush to get the pigment off. Then I'm gonna get my neon orange called Zoe and I'm gonna do the same thing, putting the pigment into the lid and just breaking it up slightly. So, and then we're basically gonna go in the other direction. So obviously starting at the cuticle and then basically feathering up into the middle. To meet the pink. And then I'm going to get my Magpie Duster Brush and I'm basically just going to brush all of the pigment off that isn't stuck to the gel. So now I'm going to top coat those nails twice, curing in between each layer, making sure to be vigilant and to cover all of the areas that I actually painted with the white gel polish um, and then I'll be back with you. So they've now all been top coated twice so I've just got a lint free wipe here with some gel cleanser on it and I'm literally just going to really wipe over the nails to remove the inhibition layer of the top coat but also to get rid of any excess pigment that's still on the skin. Okay. 
and as I'm doing it I'm just obviously paying close attention to um, my cuticle area to make sure that I am getting any excess pigment off. If you find that you have got excess pigment there and you're absolutely sure there's no top coat, you can also just use a clean up brush um, and just some of your gel cleanser and just go around the nail um, just to remove any of it. So, and then as well, one of the other tricks that I always, well, I do this for my clients all the time and on my own nails, but obviously, um, when your skin's dry, the pigment can also um, stick to your skin. So I've just applied some cuticle oil to my nails. Um, I use da daddy oil, daddy oil, this one. <laughs> and I'm just going to rub that into the cuticles to put back some moisture that we would have removed with the gel cleanser in our prep work and also when we're removing the inhibition layers. So and there you have it, a really super super easy way to do an ombre effect using the Magpie Neon pigments and they look absolutely amazing in real life they are so fluorescent i can't even explain so i hope that you liked this tutorial guys please like and subscribe for future videos and i'll see you all again soon bye